Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Amherst Public Library Book Chat with the Youth Services Department. And once again, we've got all these books just waiting for you to take out. You could do that by curbside. You can go online and look for the ones we've talked about today. Maybe you'll come across other things as well. Or just give us a call. Tell us what you like and we'll pull them for you. And then come on down for curbside. We can't wait until you can come in the building. And that's right around the corner, hopefully. First, let's talk about Cat Hats. Cat Hats is just such a cute book. Even if you love kitty cats, you're gonna like this one. Daniel Pinkwater is the author. Cat Hats. Very colorful too. Matt Katz is the president of Cat Hats Incorporated, a company in the old city of Pretzelburg. Cat Hats Incorporated does not make little hats for cats to wear. That would be adorable, but it's not the business of Matt Katz and his company. Neither is a cat hat a hat for humans to wear, which represents or resembles a cat. This would be delightful and also fashionable. But what Cat Hats Incorporated produces in the old cat works in Pretzelburg are specifically trained cats. It is a cat trainery. The cat hat itself is a cat, specifically selected for unusual furriness and warmth. Such a cat is patiently taught to arrange itself on the head of a person as a living headpiece. Can you even believe that? Who would want to wear a cat? Oh, I don't know. It would be warm, wouldn't it? Come and check out Cat Hats and see what these cats do by Daniel Pinkwater. And then there's cute little Minna. Minna is written by Matthew Forsythe. Looks like Minna's kind of busy. Minna lived in her own little world where nothing ever bothered her except for one thing. It wasn't her father who always was bringing home surprises from the outside world. And it wasn't the tin can he found that made his jokes louder. And it wasn't the collection of antique art that he thought would make them rich. And it wasn't even the band of musicians he met in the woods. She barely noticed any of these things. But one day, her father came home and said, Minna, come outside. I have a really big surprise for you. And that's when she started to worry. Oh, why don't you find out what father's bringing home to Minna in Matthew Forsythe's book, Minna. And while we're on the topic of little creatures, let's talk about Tiny Cedric. This book is by Sally Lloyd-Jones. Once upon a time, on the shortest street, with the longest name, in the biggest palace, with the hugest throne, sat the tiniest king. Oh my goodness, look how little he is. His name was Cedric, King Me the First, and he didn't like being small at all. Every morning, Tiny Cedric got in his hot air balloon, looked down from the sky. Everyone so teeny, he cheered. I am all big and tall and not small. Well, come and look at all the adventures of Tiny Cedric. This is by Sally Lloyd-Jones. You remember how this said once upon a time? Well, here's a book that says once upon a forest by Pam Fong. This is quite the treasure for those of you with an imagination because as you turn the pages and look at these wonderful illustrations, we need you to make up the story. Go page by page as if you're reading it but think about the story as it comes into your head. What would you write on these pages? And you can end up creating your own story. What a jewel of a book that is. Once Upon a Forest by Pam Fong. And I have to show you some DVDs we got in. 
Everybody loves Thomas the Tank. This is eight stories in All Engines Go, Thomas and Friends DVD collection. Time for teamwork. And speaking of eight stories, how about Rainbow Rangers? This has eight stories in it as well. And help is on its way with the Rainbow Gals. And here they all are. And they're ready to tackle any challenges that you may have. They will help. Rainbow Rangers. Help is a rainbow away. And you know, next week is Mother's Day already. So I thought we would pull some grandma books. How grandma would love if you'd read to her a book. Peter Rabbit book called I Love You, Grandma. Every day I learn something new. From each adventure I have with you. I'm brave and strong when you're in on my side, cheering me on and being my guide. Come and see what else Grandma does for Peter Rabbit. And I love you, Grandma. And another cute one, Grandma's Promise. And this is by Susan Jones. I promise you, dear grandchild, I'll be right by your side. With each and every step you take, my heart will swell with pride. Oh, how grandmas love you. I'll open up every door for you, my little honey bun. I'll snuggle you to sleep when another day is done. Let's see how this ends. What a sweet book, Grandma's Promise by Susan Jones. Well, I hope that gives you an idea of some great books that we have here at the Amherst Public Library, just waiting for you to come check it out. Thank you so much for joining us today, and it's happy May. Bye now.